Hello there, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark, and we're going to be talking amps tonight, specifically this amp, and this amp is the 20-watt Creamer from Milkman Sound. Milkman Sound is based out of San Francisco, California, and this particular amp, the Creamer, the 20 watt Creamer, is one that I've had my eye on for quite some time. So I was really excited to get the opportunity to get it in here and play around with it some. The Creamer was the second amp that Tim Marcus of Milkman ever designed. He had a friend who came to him and asked him to make a vintage Fender Princeton that was cathode biased. Tim worked and worked and worked on it because he wanted to be able to do the cathode biasing, but also retain the very cool tremolo that the Princeton has. And after some time, he was able to do it. So as a result, you can run this amp on both 6 v 6 and 6L6. It runs about 20 watts, about 20. And you have a volume control, a treble bass control. You have a reverb control. You have tremolo control, speed, and intensity. I'm gonna run this on multiple guitar tracks and then stick around until after because we will be running this puppy all by its lonesome and see what kind of sounds it can make there. Take a deep dive into the 20 watt creamer from Milkman. Uh, first guitar I'm going to use here is a Scythe Guitars OH19. And we'll get our single coil sounds out of that. And uh, the first setting that I have pulled up on the amp is one that I've just been playing around with a lot lately. And it's kind of what I go to when I mess around with this amp. We have some slow tremolo, nice slow tremolo. Uh, the depth is set about midway, so it's a nice, nice subtle tremolo and a subtle reverb as well, subtle spring reverb, and um, and then just EQ to taste. So uh, let's uh, let's hear how that sounds. Run it.
a big concern of mine is always how uh, the amp is going to interact with dirt pedals that I have and specifically fuzz pedals that I have because I love fuzz. So let's uh, pull in this spiral electric brute and uh, see how that runs into the 20 watt creamer. So the creamer is a 20 watt amp, yet it has all of this just awesome headroom on it, which makes it kind of the perfect platform for time-based effects, uh, delays, reverbs, modulation, that kind of stuff, because it's going to come through just clear as a bell. So I have dialed in a Alexander Pedals History Lesson Volume 3 with some delay, and then some other kind of goofy stuff into an Eventide H9. And it's going to be just clear as a bell running through the creamer. And the creamer is actually pretty darn loud right now. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think this amp sounds really, really ridiculously good with humbuckers. Um, the humbuckers give it a slight tube grit, but not enough that it's like overwhelming. And it just, there's enough high end on the amp that it really just kind of pulls it through and it sounds absolutely delicious. So I just want to give you a quick sample of that because I know not everyone is a single coil player out there. go a little bit of lydian dominant at the end um then the only song that i can think of that uses lydian dominant I, the milkman name stands for itself the 20 watt creamer stands for itself i mean this amp in you know a relatively short period of time has already showed up on tons of incredible records it was on the very last daft punk record ever it, you know my understanding is you know john mayer has a handful of them <laughs> <laughs> and a handful of creamers. And, you know, I mean, all kinds of really, really great celebrity types play these amps. And there's a reason for it, because they're really great. They sound really great. And they're made by one dude. One guy makes all of the Milkman amps and uh, wires them by hand. And they sound great. They look great. I'm a huge fan. Tim is a great guy. And hey, to you, thank you for your time. Mm-hmm.